Ladies and gentlemen, children of the interwebs out there, Sebastian Envy, Strong Style Cinephile, one half of the reign, defending MPX Tag Team Champions. I am not in my usual digs, either in front of the green screen or from my home office. I am out of town for the 9 to 5 gig um, for a few days, but I didn't want to take too big of a pause between the videos, stuff like that. And I finished watching Transformers Kingdom today, and it just, well, a few minutes ago, matter of fact, and it's... Um, I was looking at like some comments and stuff on some of the boards I frequent about it, and um, ah man, I don't know where I'm at with it. It was I'm not gonna go like blow by blow or or anything. For me, it, it's this whole war for, for Cybertron series, and I think I did maybe a review on the Siege, maybe or at least the trailers. Maybe no, I did one on Siege. I did one on Siege because I liked Siege when I first saw it. But in hindsight, I, I can nitpick it, stuff like that. One of the things that got me kind of messed up liking it was uh, Thu. I think that's how you name it. I don't know if the H is silent or not. But T-H-E-W is a dude on YouTube does tour reviews, reviews some of the shows, stuff like that. Dude is phenomenal. His videos are amazing. Um, with like just how much like a, a wordsmith the guy is. But one of the things he pointed out was just the uh, the voice actors on the show and we already know that there's beef with peter cullen with this show because they did they're using i think like non-union actors voice actors for the for the roles but they, i mean that's one thing but just he watched the show and it's like say like i'm gonna like say you know tell you or tell like my mom hey mom i'm going to the store right now yeah you know it'd be like hey mom i'm going to the store right now that's how i would tell her you know, if I told her in the universe that is the War for Cybertron series for Netflix, for Transformers, it'd be like, hey, mom, I'm going to the store right now. You know, it just, just, and it's like they had to have a, like a voice director that directed them to say their lines like that. You know, to, they, they had to have a voice director to tell them to say their lines like that. It, it just... Like they're shattering everything and it's just oh my god it's just so just jarring and annoying and it takes you out of the series it, it, out of the episodes that you're watching there are some cool moments in this um when the you know the beasts come in the beast wars i know is a huge thing for like like g1 is you know i'm a g1 guy um that's my jam so all that kind of stuff resonates with me there's some people their first introduction to transformers in their formative years like mine were g1 their formative years were beast wars or their formative years god help them are the bayverse movies so they have an affinity and affection a blind loyalty to those just like i have i just an un unapologetic blind loyalty to g1 that's what i have and i am i don't care what people say negative about it. i love my g1 give me g1 all day every day um so you have people that love beast wars we already know beast wars you know is going to be the next involved in the next transformers movie on the big screen and then we're going to get like a whole bunch of faction warfare and defections and this and that and we had some of those to a smaller degree in kingdom again i won't spoil it for you but there are some defections in it uh, the beasts, how they come in is cool. How they clash with the uh, traditional um, Transformers is cool. Um, it's interesting to see Megatron, Beast Wars Megatron interacting with, you know, G1 Megatron. Uh, so that was cool. Uh, Primal and Prime, that was cool. Ron Perlman voicing Optimus Primal uh, was decent. Uh, I don't think it's Perlman's best, but it was decent. And there were some cool moments with Air Razor, with Dinobot. Some of that stuff was cool. The idea of the Autobots, you know, just overcoming this conflict to come together as Transformers, as one species to overcome this potential greater threat. I like the idea of that. The layers that the, overall they put on the war. Like you don't, like Optimus Prime is not just the beacon of, of right. Even though he has the matrix of leadership, he has the wisdom and all that kind of stuff. He's not just always right. And this series proved that he wasn't. His decision to take the Allspark away from Cybertron kind of led to some crappy circumstances which you'll see play out in this some finite circumstances for certain individuals um but he's not always like right megatron is not always like wrong and he's not always acting villainous and, and stuff like that 
So I like the layers that they kind of put on this war and just all the stories over the years, the various comic books like the IDW and the, the other companies that have put out Transformers stories and just these layers to the conflicts, not just straight good versus evil. I like that. Even though G1 was just kind of straight good versus evil, I like the layers of some of the later series. So I like that. There's This series was layered. Um, so I give, give it credit for that. So the action was cool. I saw like one review that was complaining about all the Transformers transformations happening like off screen and stuff like that. I disagree with that. I think you saw enough of them on screen. Um, but I know it's a cost measure thing that some of them happen you know they just jumped up in the air transformers transformation sound and they land and they're you know changed uh, some of that's just a cost thing i understand that that's fine um it's just, just i don't know it's it's the voice acting my god it just I, and i try not to get let that take me out of it but it did it just took me out of so much of it and it's just it teased us in the end. Um, is there going to be more after this trilogy? Who knows? I don't think anything has been said about it. I haven't looked it up. Um, so, remains to be seen if we get more after this, another trilogy or whatever. Hey, it, this is made to sell toys. So, like, as long as the toys are selling, I think we'll get more. Uh, but it was just... I don't know. I don't know where I'm at with this. I gotta watch it again. I mean, six episodes are less than 30 minutes each it's easy to watch them over again uh, and that's probably what i'm gonna need to do to really have a, a, a good opinion on take it apart and really examine it um but at the moment for me it sits at like a strong like kingdom sits at a strong like i don't know seven out of ten six and a half out of ten um overall this series has been just disappointing for a lot of reasons i think a lot of it just a lot of this, it, it's just so much padding in this in, uh, this could have been half the number of episodes um so that's an issue and it's just the voice acting is an issue and it i don't know i'm just i'm, I'm glad we got new transformers again it's to sell toys it's to, to get more kids you know kids kind of on board maybe this is going to be their formative transformers story that pulls them in and just get where they're totally unapologetic lovers of the war for, Tri for cybertron series or this era of transformer stories you know and it could be unapologetic you know screw everybody else whatever they think i love this like i am with g1 um or some people are with bayverse crap so i mean it's good in that regard it kind of keeps the things going for the franchise but just overall with this just examining war for cybertron trilogy and kingdom disappointing um i don't know that's where i'm at on it it's it i don't know i'm just, just me personally i'm disappointed you might like it you should check it out for it's one of those things where i'm you know you should check it out for yourself form your own opinion but just my personally i was disappointed in the end so it is what it is anyway those are my thoughts on it scattered as they often are what do you guys out there think let me know in the comments below follow me on social media talk to me there talk to me here until next time let us geek